Welcome back to another video. In 2013, I built my very first proper gaming computer. I think it's time to give it a well-deserved upgrade. You might be wondering why I'm not just starting completely from scratch. Well, there are many reasons which I'll get to in a bit. So if you're up for it, come on the journey to rebuild my computer. My original rig is rocking a Core i7 4770K, 32GB of DDR3 RAM, a GTX 970, two 480GB SSDs and two mechanical hard disks. Of course when I originally built this nearly four years ago, I only started with 8GB of RAM, which I slowly added to as time went on. The GTX 970 didn't exist back then either, as I had previously upgraded that a few years back as well. In this build I'm going to be replacing the current Thermaltake A31 case with a much newer, far more aesthetically pleasing Aerocool P7C1 case which has a large tempered glass side panel. I will also be replacing the GTX 970 with a brand new Zeus GTX 1070, which is a big step up in performance as well as video memory. Just in case my old power supply dies, I bought a new one to replace it. I'll be keeping the same motherboard, CPU and RAM as they are still really good even here in 2017. I wouldn't see much of a boost in performance if I bought a newer Intel i7 CPU. If I did buy one, I'd also have to buy a newer motherboard that supports that socket, as well as newer RAM. So to save on costs, I'll just keep what I was already using. First of all, let's unbox the new parts. The Thermaltake Light Power 650 Watt Power Supply will set you back $59 at MSY in Australia. Next up, we've got the ASUS GTX 1070 graphics card. This card will set you back around $529. The new Pascal architecture provides better performance all around with a faster clock speed and faster GDDR5 memory. It's a decent upgrade as I was pushing the 970 to its limits with some games. Last of all we have the Aerocool Project 7 case. For $169 it's definitely one of the better cases that are sold at MSY. One thing I had to make sure of is that my current full sized ATX motherboard will fit. Of course being a mid tower it does indeed have the space for one. The new case has multiple 2.5 inch drive bays and full size 3.5 inch bays hidden away from view. Along with RGB lighting and an RGB strip you can place anywhere, there's also a large tempered glass panel that lets you see inside the machine. Luckily it has a lot of room on the other side to hide all the cables. I'll have to try my best to keep everything neat and tidy. With that out of the way, let's disassemble the old PC. I'll probably sell off the old case, power supply and graphics card to cover some of the cost of the upgrade. Cracking it open we can see it's not too badly cable managed. Of course there's not a lot you can do given the relatively cluttered layout. Before filming this video, I gave it a dust out as this thing can get really dusty over time. The GTX 970 is still a decent card and I should be able to get around $250 for it second hand. Next, let's pull out the hard drives. This case had plenty of drive caddies which definitely helped as I ended up putting in 5 hard disks. Now let's unhook everything from the motherboard. The old power supply still works fine so I'll likely sell that off cheap as well. Last of all I'll take the motherboard out. I won't worry about the DVD drive or card reader as the new case doesn't have optical drive base and it already has an SD card reader built in. Now it's time to put the new machine together. Let's fast forward through that. Two hours later. There we have it, my new and improved editing slash gaming rig. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below. Once again, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Click on the links on screen to see some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.